What's up guys, Sergeant Argerbird here, and today I finally got the audio situation figured out. Um, if you're a freaking watch, watcher of my channel, you will know that I've literally been having audio problems for like weeks. Because I don't know why. Um, one day, I, <laughs> it's, such, it's such a complicated issue. Like literally, if I try to do one thing, something else messes up. So, it's literally impossible for me to fix it, no matter how many tutorials I go to. It's so freaking annoying. And apparently it has to do with, like, the, the underlying problems of Bluetooth headphones or something like that. Where there's two modes and, and stuff. So, I was like, if it's the problem with the Bluetooth, then maybe I should connect a cord to it. Do it that way. And it works. It might, the audio, the, the microphone quality isn't like... Eh, I don't know. It just sounds kind of weird to me. It sounds kind of off. I can't really describe it. But, yeah. At least it won't echo like in the last video or do any kind of funny stuff. Anyways, let's watch this. Time lapse of the entire universe. Yeah. Um... I do like history, so we might as well react to the entire history of everything that we know of. But anyways, let's get started. We're going on a journey. This video depicts all 13 billion years of time unfolding on a 10-minute scale. How do you do that? What the heck? 13 billion years in 10 minutes. Every passing second represents 22 million. Oh wow. Jeez. Well, <laughs> actually, there's no sound in space, so that's inaccurate. cloud of gas and cosmic dust, gravity forged the stars. What in the world was that thing? single one of these like documentaries they have to have like a British guy like in this dramatic voice like I don't know why but if you have like a person with a British accent it makes it sound more serious like they have like in those iPhone commercials too that are like Samsung commercials you like have the phone and then they just talk about all the features in the serious British voice and all these documentaries. I don't know, it's weird. What in the world am I looking at? Oh. I see these are two proto galaxies colliding. Some galaxies form so close together that they're locked in a gravitational embrace. Fun fact, our galaxy, the Milky Way, unless I have some alien friends watching this from outside the galaxy, but yeah, our galaxy actually was is a combination of two other galaxies that collided um, very long time ago, though. And in the future, we're going to collide with the Andromeda Galaxy, so that's pretty neat. Sorry. 
personal opinion i wish instead of making it like super dramatic they would like talk about like all the details instead like i know it like would be more boring but you know ah, that, that's just my opinion i think it would you know, be cool. thanks so it's already been like three billion years as it evolves the universe passes through distinct eras Vast ages, whose beginnings and endings are marked by unique milestones. Oh, there's this fantastic video that I need to react to later, if y'all are interested in this, where it's the future of the universe. That is, like, an extremely interesting video. I don't know if it's by the same person, though. The births and deaths of its wonders. actually have an infinite density and there's a gigantic super black hole in the center. Oops, what the heck? Oh my dang it. Okay there. gravitational pull of these monsters can rip a star apart. They tear matter from its surface and drag it into orbit. This superheated matter spins around the mouth of the black hole and great jets of radiation fire from the core. Jets can be seen across the cosmos. The core itself remains a mystery. Not even light can escape. Yeah, that's why they're called black holes. Also, this depiction is a bit dishonest because black holes are humongous, like way bigger than stars. So their interior is forever hidden from us. Throughout a star's life, there is a constant battle between energy pushing out and gravity pushing in. When it runs out of fuel, the star collapses and then explodes with the brightness of a billion suns. These are new stars, 
forming from the elements blown out by supernova explosions. New stars being born from the remains of dead ones. And it's from this universal process of death and rebirth that we emerged. Because it was in a nebula just like this, five billion years ago, that our sun was formed. of hydrogen collapse further and further under the force of gravity and the life cycle of a new star has begun. A star was born that would come to be known as the Sun. Nice. Why is it called the Sun though? Why does the word Sun mean? Like, I don't know. That's weird. And it's called the Sun. Like, mm. does that mean every single star with the solar system is called a sun? Because we, because we need to say the sun, it implies that there's other suns. Anyway. Around it, a network of planets formed. Among them was the Earth. of the solar system collides with the Earth. Oh, yep, and that's when the moon was created. Earth began life as a molten hell. The early continents were still forming. was dominated by volcanoes, hostile and lifeless. But deep in the oceans, life had begun. The latest theory is that chemicals spewing from underwater volcanic vents solidified and created the conditions needed for the first cells to form. For some three billion years, simple microscopic organisms were the most advanced form of life on the planet. Three billion years? What? It took three billion years just to create multi. Oh my gosh! It took three billion years just to create multicellular life. That is insane. Simple microscopic organisms were the most advanced form of life on the planet. Oh. Well, it's kind of a vague definition, though. Like, what do you define as simple and microscopic? Cyanobacteria and other oxygen producing microbes began to bloom. These flourished in colonies of plant like microbes that pumped out enormous volumes of oxygen. You know, back then, or maybe this is a little bit later, oxygen was actually poisonous to most of these creatures. So, yeah, not good. And then, you know. The earth changed and then life sort of adapted to, to where only like creatures that use oxygen would be the only ones left. And it was this increase in oxygen that was the key to the rise of the animal kingdom. What are those things? 
organisms started using oxygen to respire, yielding a lot more energy, which allowed the development of more complex life. life appeared, the world was in the grip of the biggest ice age in its entire history. That sucks. It's crazy how it got from like being like this complete fiery hell of volcanoes to um and this gigantic snowball. Oh my gosh, what do you want, you clips? Uh, you just scratched me like 10 minutes ago. What do you want? Get over here. Hey, clips. There's bars in my room while I'm recording. How rude. Go find it. Come up here. Come on, you clips. The dinosaur's pretty fast. We're already like 100 million years away from where we are now. Thank you all for watching everyone, stay tuned for my next videos, and if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below. Oh wait, I just remembered, somebody put like a bunch of suggestions in one of my comments. Um, so I'm probably going to react to those next. So yeah. Anyways, but th yeah, thank you all for watching everyone, and goodbye. Hello everyone, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel and you know turn on the notification bell thingy and if you didn't then make sure to leave a uh, thumbs down oh yeah that would be greatly appreciated and while you're at it go ahead and watch my other videos they're probably just as good and if not better than this one right now except for my oldest videos don't watch those and you know subscribe to these people down here my fellow sergeants they're other YouTubers that I either know or I have in high regards. Yeah, even my cat agrees. So, thank you for watching and have a great day.